Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to see the second part of the same question which we discussed yesterday. So we were asked to find the minimum distance of the complex number from this point to the complex number x and y. We have been given that s is a common region which is common to all the three s1, s2 and s3. If you haven't seen my yesterday's video, so please, I will suggest that go check out that first, where I have explained how we get this regions S1, S2, and S3. So we get this S1, we get S2, we get S3. Once we get all of these regions, we get the common region, which is there, is the shaded region, which we have seen. Now let's try to figure out the second part of the same question. So we need to figure out minimum part of Z along the shaded region mod of 1 minus 3i minus Z. So if you know how to read this, mod of something always shows us distance of this point from this point. So this point is Z. Z is nothing but 1 minus 3i minus X plus Y. So this is entirely given to us. Now what I can do is here, instead of taking it like this, if I take it in the opposite sense, I can also write it as x plus i y minus 1 minus. So basically we are need, going to find out the distance of this point x comma y from 1 comma minus 3. And how do I do this, the proof of that, let's see that first. So basically I, what idea I use here is, if I tell you mod of 2 minus 3, that is nothing but distance of point 2 from 3, that comes out 1. Even if you had, let's say, mod of 3 minus 2, it is also distance of point 3 from 2, that is also 1. So both of those are equal to each other. So if I have mod of A minus B, I can write that as mod of B minus B. So that is the idea I used here and put x plus i y first and then 1 minus 3 i. So now if I try to plot these regions, 1 minus 3 will be, let's say, somewhere here, 1 minus 3 will be this one. So we have to find the minimum distance of the complex number that is x comma y from this point. And we already know that idea that minimum distance is nothing but the perpendicular distance of the line. So if I want to find the perpendicular distance of a complex number x comma y from 1 comma minus 3, so let's figure that out. This is our line where x comma y is present. We have to find the perpendicular distance of this point from 1 comma minus 3. So we already know that whenever you have a line equation, let's say ax1 plus by1 plus c, and you need to figure out this equation of the line from any point p comma q. What you do here is ax1 plus by1 plus c in the mod divided by root of p squared plus. So in this case, it is another part. Instead of x1 and y1, we are using it from point p and q. So instead of x1 and y1, I can substitute this p and q. So it becomes a into p plus b into q plus c upon root of a square plus b square. So when I'm trying to figure out the line's equation as y plus root 3x equals to 0. So if I want to find the perpendicular distance in this question, that is nothing but the minimum distance that comes out a, that is coefficient of x into 1 plus coefficient of y into minus 3 plus 0 upon root of a square plus b square. So root of root 3 square, that is 3 plus 1 square, that is 1. So that gives you root 3 minus 3 
upon root of 4 that is 3. Since it is in mod 3 is greater than root 3, so I can write it as because any value in mod will always become positive. So I can write 3 first and then. So that gives you the minimum distance which is asked to us in this question as 3 minus root 3. So if you see the correct option that matches here with the question is C is the correct answer for the question which was asked to us that find the minimum distance of this point from Z and once we figured out the minimum distance is nothing but the perpendicular distance that is nothing but comes out to become 3 minus 3 minus. So we just use the idea of formula of the perpendicular distance here to find the minimum distance of this complex number x comma y I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JDM. Thank you.